Good morning guys, happy Monday. Welcome back to our channel. I am today going to do another video as part of our series of painting with things you might have at home. So today, what I'm gonna experiment with is painting with some spices, okay? I haven't tried it, I don't know if it's gonna work, but I thought we could have a go together and see what it will, what the results will be. I don't have any, I don't have very many different spices, but to get different colors, but if you had more variety in spices, you'd get different results. Like if you had some saffron, you might get a nice red color. Um, all my colors, I think, I may be wrong, but I think are gonna come out quite orangey brown, but let's have a go and see the result we can get. Because once again, it could be a great way to practice our watercolor techniques using these and it's gonna smell marvellous. So what I'm gonna do is just in a little dish, pour out a bit. So to start with, I'm trying cinnamon and I'm just gonna add a bit of water to it. Mix this all together. Is it gonna mix? I wonder whether I should have done hot water. Mm. Right guys, no, I'm gonna abort this and I'm gonna try some hot water instead because I don't think that's worked. So give me two seconds. Luckily, I just boiled the kettle for a cup of tea. So let's retry. So I'm gonna put some more cinnamon in my little tub. There we go. And then I'm going to add some water from the kettle. Right, let's give this a whirl. There we go. That's mixing better together. Okay, so what we've learned already is you need to use hot water to make it work. It smells like Christmas. Okay, let's try painting with it. You might get a nice speckled result. Okay, so it obviously doesn't completely mix. But for a texture, it's actually quite nice. It's quite a nice result. Once again, Lily's automatically drawn flowers, but you could you could draw anything you wanted. Um, I'm going to now try the five spice to see whether this um, mix is better when it's heated. There we go. Oh, it's a strong smell for the morning. It smells delicious though. I think that's mixed a bit better. So let's try painting with it. Oh, it's even lighter. And if you keep mixing and mixing and mixing, whether it will mix in. I don't think so. I think it's always going to have that bit of texture in it. But it, we have got a colour out of it. I mean, like I expected, they're all exactly the same colour. Let's just try, lastly, the mixed spices. and see what we get from that. It's gonna smell like Christmas again. Does cinnamon, oh, whoops. Cinnamon remind anyone else of the smell of Christmas? Because it definitely reminds me of Christmas. Okay, I feel like the mixed spice has blended a bit better. Maybe not. Still quite a similar colour to the five spices, the mixed spice. And then we have got a bit of a darker colour 
with the cinnamon. So there is variation in the colour. Um, right, I'm going to try one more thing. I'm just going to rinse this part out quickly here. I'm going to put some hot water in my, um, what's it called? Um, I've forgotten the name of this. Some hot water in my pot. There we go. It's very early, guys. Lily's just waking up. Right, so I've put some hot water in my pot already. And then what I'm going to try, just because of how this fell on the paper, I'm going to try painting with the water first. Which, if you do, it might be better to draw in pencil what you're going to draw first. And then what I'm going to try doing is getting some... I've gone for the cinnamon. Getting some cinnamon in my hand and then just sprinkling it on to the paper where the water is. And then we'll let that dry and see what the result is. Um, there you go. I've blown it off. And oh, wow. I really like that. I think that's actually better than mixing the colours together. Look at the lovely texture it's created in the flower. Wow. I'm actually really impressed with that, guys. So I would give that a go. Wow. Look at that. You get such a beautiful texture in the flower here from adding the cinnamon after you put the water on the page. So give that a go. I actually really enjoyed experimenting with that. Um, and you can get some beautiful results. And what you could do afterwards is, if I can find one, just get a pen, a pen or a pencil. I've just picked this one up quickly. And then you could fill in the centre of your flowers. Make them come to life a bit more. But what a lovely texture we've got from that. I'm really impressed. And then you could, you know, add your leaves to it. It's just a different way of painting, guys, and what a lovely experiment to do to see what results you can get. There we go. How about that? I really like the textures we got from that. Right, if you enjoyed this video, give it a go yourselves. I am really looking forward to seeing anybody that tries it. And if you also tried the coffee one, let me know if you enjoyed that too. And um, if you would like to see more videos like this, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel for more. Have a great day, guys. Bye.